uh, I'm a, a big fan of collaboration. I love uh, you know working with other people and um, taking the back seat as, as much as possible and uh, you know, trying to help you know uh, find the best in an artist. And um, it was really a joy to produce that with Leland and to you know bring that to the forefront. Um, and you know I've had the opportunity to do that with. Um, quite a few other uh, artists, and um, and boy, have uh, I got a treat for you. You guys didn't know this was coming. Uh, I didn't either until about three o'clock this afternoon uh, when I got a text from Paul Carganilla, who's going to come up right now after drowning his martini. And um, did anybody see Sparked? Any Sparked fans out there? Paul uh, uh, created this incredible film uh, called Sparked, and he uh, is, you know, finishing editing on uh, the follow-up, the sequel, um, The Flame. Paul, say hi. 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 Is this how you say it? <laughs> sure. And uh, when he was doing it, he asked me to uh, to write a song for the film, and um, and he said that you know in this film, I don't know how much you want me to give away, but. Uh, uh, okay, so, high school sweethearts, back in high school, uh, the dude wrote a song for his chick for Christmas. <laughs> they were in high school, that kind of vernacular is perfectly acceptable. Right? Get in the head of the, the, the character. Um, but, and so yeah, I came to Dan and I said, hey, would you write this song that the dude wrote for the chick? And she, you know, wants to hear it again, kind of thing. And he did, and he nailed it. But the uh, the thing is, uh, you know, because Paul is the is the actor in the film that you know did this, he was the dude, uh, and so I said, as the dude, you have to sing it, and it, it, this needs to be a Paul Carganella song. Uh, yeah, and so. I never like done anything legit before as far as recording and stuff. And Dan brought me into his studio, uh, and he um, produced the song. And this is the world premiere. It's never been performed or heard. Before. If you ever lose your way in the street.
So in the spirit of uh, a collaboration, and uh, I've, I've been thinking a lot about uh, what to do after Best Ride, um, because it was such a huge and ambitious project, and it was something that involved so many people and was so gigantic, and uh, would never have been possible without uh, all the uh, Kickstarter backers and all of the, the resources that were created for that. Um, but uh, I, I thought that something to, to do next would be to further investigate the creative process and, uh, and do that with Paul. And uh, what I've decided to do is something completely overly ambitious, and uh, I'll tell you all more about it uh, when I launch um, another Kickstarter, granted a much smaller one. <laughs> a, a much smaller one, so uh, don't, don't freak out. Uh, and, and what, a couple weeks. It's uh, it's kind of crazy, and um, yeah, it, but it's a really cool idea, and it involves art, it involves music, it involves film, and it involves um, you guys uh, on on more than just a financial level, uh, which is going to be really interesting. You're not going to tell me anything about it. Do you think I should? Yes. 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 Have you guys ever heard of a 48-hour um, film festival? Yeah. yeah. It's where like people uh, it's, it's where like people get an idea uh, or they're given things that they need to make into a film, and then they have 48 hours to write, shoot, record, edit, and turn in their film. And then there's a film festival, and there are winners and stuff. And uh, it's kind of like that. That's that's perfect. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave them with that. That little nugget. Nugget. There's your nugget. That's the nugget. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Clark and Dylan.